Hey, what's up? And welcome to this brand new vlog. This vlog is all about Kung Fu and not necessarily me doing all like Kung Fu Panda moves. I love Kung Fu! It will be more about why I do Kung Fu and how I incorporate it in real life and maybe giving you some tips on how to deal with stress and pressure. At the end of the episode, I will give you my five reasons why I do Kung Fu. Touchdown Mallorca, and I'm traveling super light today only with a backpack. I think I almost deliberately uh, walked past by. This and I was like, hey Luke. I was like, nah. So after training, and it's purely a coincidence, what else is there to eat than Chinese food? Luckily, this hotel in Mallorca has a Chinese restaurant right across from the street. Kung Fu food. Just got back to my room. The food was delicious, but the schedule is really tight. was amazing, a very young crowd and a very new crowd. Good morning. It's 5.30 in the morning right now and I've only slept two hours and sometimes people ask me, how do you do it? I'm gonna take you out to the airport right now. my life of Kung Fu right now and it's time for some Kung Fu duties. We're gonna go to the school where I train and today I'm recording something for Dutch TV. All right we're here with DJ Floor, one of the most talented new and up-and-coming kids. He's 13, he's gonna be a big name in the future and he loves Kung Fu. It's the Kung Fu life on my day off now I'm going to pick up some teachers from San Francisco who are coming over here for Hong Ying's training camp coming days. Whether your focus is to work on building strength or endurance or fighting techniques, or developing the art itself, or just learning the culture. There's so much that you can focus on, you can never get bored. One of the things I love about Kung Fu is just the variety of everything, from animal style, drunken style, all the different weapon rates. It's never ending, there's always something to do. This was a great ending to a good day. Tomorrow, I'm flying to Ibiza, taking you with me. More to come on this episode, five reasons why I do Kung Fu. Feels good to be back in Ibiza. The sun is out, the weather is warm, I'm really looking forward to tonight. So the style I do is Choi Li Fat Kung Fu, it's from the Hang Sing lineage. It derived from Shaolin, combining northern styles and southern styles as well. So it's a very all-round type of martial arts. We have 53 weapons in the system. This means I can handle swords, daggers, spears, whips. My teacher, Mark Horton, is one of the first Western guys that was allowed to take up Kung Fu. What I love most about Kung Fu is the Kung Fu lifestyle. I've traveled around the whole world because of Kung Fu and um, I'm very healthy and I love being involved, helping to develop people. His teacher, my grandmaster, Doc Fei Wong, is one of the OG Kung Fu legends from San Francisco, going all the way back to Hong Kong, where our great grandmasters were based. And speaking of lineages, Right now I have two official students. One of them is in Ibiza right now. So it's time to have a session of teaching out in the sun. That was a lot of fun. And one of the parallels my DJ career has with my Kung Fu career is the ability to inspire people. And see, this is Kung Fu too, where you can dry yourself off without falling over. Now maybe you know this sign. It's the yin and yang symbol. The yin, the white part, is the light part of life 
and the black, the yang, is the heavy part of life. Now, if you train a lot, you often just focus on the hard side of the training, creating a hard body, creating hard energy. The important thing about that is to balance it out after. So this is why I took a swim this afternoon. Now, if you often train the hard energy and stick to the hard energy, your body can get sick. It'll be out of balance and you create like an unhealthy situation. Same goes for the other way around. If you constantly live a soft life, Time for me to go to the club now. had another good training with Jordan now today. We rarely get to train together, so it's really nice to do two days in a row. Finally, I'm able to tell you how I deal with daily stress, something that's called looking through 13 windows. When you have a very busy day or a very busy schedule, picture any type of scenario that might happen. And so when, when the moment actually comes, uh, you won't be overwhelmed with it. It'll feel like you've already been there. And then the stress goes away and you just run through the day and you'll run through it very smoothly. I'm about to leave to Germany right now. I'm super excited because this is a huge one. This is like the cream fields in the Tomorrowland of Germany. I have never heard of this DJ, DJ Transfer. But we arrived in the cutest little touristy type of hotel in Germany and we're just gonna stay here for about 45 minutes just in time to get ready for the festival. Don't forget, after my show, I'll give you the exact five reasons why I do Kung Fu. Such a worthy closing of the German festival season, which I did a lot of this year. And so next up, the conclusion of this vlog, the five reasons why I do Kung Fu. Number five, it gives me more awareness. I'm very much aware of what's happening around me, it gives me a clear view and a clear oversight. And what helps with this is that I have enhanced reflexes because I constantly train my movements and things that come at me and how to react and respond to that. Number four, it gives me a better self-esteem. Obviously, you feel a lot stronger and more confident, but most importantly, it keeps me humble as well. This crazy DJ world can be very overwhelming and because of everyone praising you all the time, you can easily get lost in your own hype. Number three, the Kung Fu I practice goes deeper than most martial arts. So because we have such a broad system, we incorporate everything that you can imagine having in other martial arts as well. Number two, it motivates me to live healthy. I've been living the fit life for a while now and it just adds so much more quality in life. But the number one reason, it keeps me from getting burned out. So in my career, I had two burnouts and it was horrible. The feeling of depression and spiraling down into a very bad life is the worst feeling ever. Right now what Kung Fu does for me is keeping me energized and it literally gives me the feeling that I'm a superhero most of the day. If you've gotten interested in Kung Fu and thinking about taking it up, if you live in America and mainly around the San Francisco area or the San Diego area, make sure to check out these websites. And over in Europe, where I train, make sure to check out this. I'm happy I got to explain this for you and now you know why I live the Kung Fu life. So right now I'm gonna take you through a couple of breathing exercises that will help you wake up a little bit. So we're just gonna go through this sitting down. Okay, so you're just gonna calmly breathe in. Breathe in like this. Pour the air and energy over yourself. 
breathe out. Press the energy through the floor. So breathe in. Pour it. Breathe out. When you breathe out, try and breathe out through your back, through your kidneys, onto the floor. So breathe in. So now a little bit of a stretch. You breathe in, one hand goes down, one hand goes up. And you feel the side stretch a little bit. In. Out. The other way around, in. Out. And really feel that stretch, in. See, this feels good already. I'll give you a little bit of energy as well. So I just, um, I just want you to think of like squeezing all your muscles while you're holding your breath. So we're gonna breathe in, squeeze and tense up your muscles, all your muscles, even if you're sitting down, tense it up and release. Tense, tense, tense. And out. One more time. In. And out. And now you will feel much more awake. If you liked what you saw, give me a thumbs up and please do subscribe on my channel. You might want to keep updated because the next vlog is another live forum feedback vlog. It's about time again. So keep it locked here on the true story and the real life. See you on the next one.